Hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to showcase uh, another mod nation based on the Conflux uh, town from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I called it White Spire because there is no, uh, I guess, Conflux nation in the game world, and I just used uh, a random town name from that game. So. Uh, one thing that I should say yeah, at first, that uh, I made this nation in a single day. Including the sprites, the coding, everything, I did it in a day. And uh, I think that's uh, very fitting, because uh, the Conflux Town uh, for Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the Armageddon's Blade was very rushed and it showed, but uh, I really like the result here and I also like the Conflux Town in the original game, if I'm to be honest. First, we have our starting side that gives us all elemental gems and one astral pearl. Of course, I had to I have made some artistic liberties with the nation because I cannot just have recruitable elementals. So our units are the beckoned uh, wait why are they mixed up again? The beckoned warrior who is uh, just a basic human with some minor elemental resistances. You know, they have some minor uh, elemental ancestry. The beckoned archer, same thing, just a normal archer with some resistances. And we have the pixies who are stealthy. They have lenses, light lenses. So they have a bonus for the first strike because they are flying and they have sleep touch they are ambidextrous, they have forest survival, they are magic beings, flying and they are stealthy as well they even have some armor and they are quite cheap but their stats are not great you can see I guess they have a higher magic resistance than normal and then we have the, our elemental troops. First, our water elemental troop is the Arctic Sharpshooter, who is a longbowman with a frost bow. So it is a magical weapon that applies cold on hit. It has cold resistance, winter strength, and ice protection. I think it was also supposed to be snow, supposed to have snow movement, but I forgot it. I'll add it. I'll fix it. Other than that, the stat line is basically a human baseline, but with higher magic resistance. They are very magical. For Earth elementals, we have the Demolisher who have stone moles that shatter inanimate beings armor negating so they can they can be used to kill monoliths and some other mobile pretenders and they are magic weapons as well and they hit hard they also have some armor and I think even natural protection yes they hit hard they uh, have a lot of protection but they are also quite expensive they do not need to eat and they have siege bonus then we have the wardens of fire who have decent armor they have shields which is important and just normal spears but they are resistant to fire they have firepower they have a castle defense bonus and bodyguard Overall, they are good troops. 
And we have Tempests for floating dual wielders with lightning strikes. Uh, a single shot lightning strike that hits an area. Uh, okay, they are shock resistant, they have floating, they have air shield, which helps them defending against projectiles without an actual shield. And they are ambidextrous. They cost a lot, and with some buffs, they, they turn into blenders. And our capital recruit is uh, the Astro Warrior, who are sacred magic being, and they have magic power. They wield broadswords and have some good armor. They are expensive, but they are sacred. They have good stats overall. Our commanders are, we have the sprite, who is a stealthy fairy, she is our scout. We have the backend commander, who is just an indie commander with some resistances. The backend priest, because we need to have priests, at least holy one. And we have four elemental commanders who are Arctic Ranger. Again, no snow movement, but I should give them some. They have uh, Water 1 and sometimes Water 2. They have Frost Bows, Cold Reasons, Drink of Winter, Ice Protection and Adept Researcher. I guess. I do not remember the reason, but why not? Then we have the Guardian of Flame, Fire 1, sometimes Fire 2. Other than that, it's the same as the unit version. They are also quite cheap, 60 gold, 70 gold, 90 gold. Twisters. Twisters have... Uh, they still have the boot slot. Uh, they have a single strike, uh, lightning strike. Air 1, sometimes Air 2, Shock Reason, Floating, Air Shield, and Tambi Dextros. And the Earth Shaker, who have Stone Moles again, Earth 1, sometimes Earth 2. Why do these have Adept Researcher? I do not remember, honestly. Then we have the General Elementalists who get uh, two levels in one elemental path and one level in another, and sometimes the same. So it's a Russian roulette what path you get, but you can get some nice cross paths that will enable you even acid spells. And our capital recruits are the Astral Spirit, who is an Astral Mage, sometimes Astral 2, Holy, Amphibian, Poison Resistant, Ethereal, Need Not Eat, Magic Bean, Floating, Magic Power, and they can paralyze. And Planeswalker, who is an Astral 2 and a lot of elemental randoms, as you can see, two guaranteed randoms in an elemental pass, one granted an elemental or astral, and one rare in elemental or astral magic. They are good. And uh, the gimmick of this nation is national combat summons, but we also have some national magic items that uh, give you temporary gems to allow to summon these beings. And this is our pretender selection. We have some national ones who are the Omnimental. It used to be very overpowered, but now I think it's it should be okay. It has four starting paths, but the new magic path cost is 100. It has uh, four elemental attacks. 
as regeneration, amphibian, slash resistant, blunt resistant, pierce resistant, shock resistant, fire resistant, cold resistant, poison resistant, magic beam, inanimate, need not eat, trample, and blind. So they are resistant to everything. <laughs> And we have four messengers. The water messenger is a water too. Uh, I guess uh, something like a golem or amphibian. Flesh resistant, pierce resistant, cold resistant, poison resistant, magic being, can animate, need not eat, chill aura, never heals, blind and ice protection. Air messenger, air too. The same golem traits, but as overcharged. The Earth Messenger, Earth 2, but uh, it probably also has Stone Being, but it does not have a tag. I mean, does not have an icon for some reason. And the Fire Messenger, who has a Fire Aura and Fire Shield and Fire Power. And also Fire Resistance, of course. So let's take a look at our spells and items. And I guess we cannot really take a look at the items. Uh, the items are on at construction four, and the each of them provides uh, two gems temporary uh, for fire. Air, Water, Earth, and Astral. And we have a lot of summons. A lot of them. First, we have uh, on Conjuration 2, we have uh, the Beast summons. That cost one gem each. And they require one level of the elemental magic. And it's a combat summon. Uh, each one summons two fire beasts or dust devils or water beasts or rock beasts. We'll take a look at them later. Then at uh, Conjuration 3 we have uh, our national variants of firepower and uh, Water power, earth power. Also, we can summon storm elementals at air 2. Only one of them. Yes, only one. And we can also summon malevolent boulders. That is an immobile turret that throws boulders. It is based on the monster from Might and Magic 8. A very annoying one. And Conjuration 3 we have the Spirit Summons. They require two levels of uh, the appropriate elemental path, they but still cost only one gems. They can summon two elemental spirits. Uh, we have fire spirits, we have ice spirits that uh, are not water, but uh, water uh, one, air one. And we also have energy elementals, air one, earth, oh, I mean fire one. Water spirits, magma elementals, earth one, fire one, and earth spirits. Then at... Uh, Conjuration 5, we have Psychic Elementals, who cost uh, one Astral Pearl to summon, but you only summon one of them, they are Mind Blasters. Conjuration 6, we have Magic Elementals, one Pearl, Astral 2. Conjuration 7, we have Sacred Phoenix, this is a Ritual Summon, this is not a Combat Summon, the 30 Gems. Fire 4, we summon a Sacred Phoenix. And we also have Summon Charger, another ritual summon for 15 Earth Gems, Earth 3. 
Do we have anything else? I don't think we do. So your main goals are to reach construction 4 and use your summons. And let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at the heroes first. We have the Fairy King, who is who is our only way to get nature magic without recruiting independence. And we have the first, who are three heroes at once. They are Astral 5. They have the Stellar Bolt attack. We have O, Amphibian, Blunt Resistant, Pierce Resistant, Poisoned, Ethereal, Floating, Damage Reversal, and they are blind. They appeared uh, in uh, Heroes Chronicles, but which one I do not remember. And here we have our unit summons. First one is a Dust Devil, who is our Air Spirit. It has a Lightning Swarm attack, Shock Resistant, Poison Resistant, Magic Being, Inanimate, Nimtit, Ethereal, Mindless, Flying, Air Shield, Blind, Storm Powers, Overcharge and Storm Immunity. That's, that's a mouthful. The Rock Beast. It has just basic Claw Bite attacks, but it can regenerate. It is amphibious. And blind. They are quite tanky, as you can see. The fire beast it has a flame strike. I think it's basically the same as the fire flare of the salamander. Fire resistance is called susceptibility. Poison resistance, magic being inanimate, need not eat, eat aura, they are ethereal. Mindless, Fire Shield, Fire Power, and Blind. And then we have the Water Beast. Two Crush Attacks, Regeneration, Amphibious, Resistant to Physical Damage, and Poison. Magic Beam and Animate need not eat, Mindless, Blind. And then we have the Spirit Summons. The Cyclone. As two lightning swarm attacks, shock resistance, ethereal overcharge, storm immunity, storm power. Basically, same as the dust devil, but better. Air spirit, As two shatter fist attacks, and it regenerates as well. They are pretty good, and they are tanky as well. Then we have the Fire Spirit, who has a Fire Flare, uh, just like the Salamander. Is, uh, and Fire Shield, Fire Power, Ethereal, Heat Aura, Fire Resistance. Then we have the Water Spirit, who has Crush, Cold, and Tail Slap. Three attacks for a size 3 uh, unit. And uh, quite high magic resistance on other stats, and it regenerates as well. We also have the Ice Spirit. Again, Cold, Tail Slap, and uh, the Ice Bolt. It's a ranged attack. It fires two of them at once. That's cool. And they are amphibious as well. They have Ice Protection and Chill Auras. Storm Elemental. It has a Thunder Fist and it can throw lightning. It shocks an area. That's cool. And they have the same uh, Air Shield, Overcharged, Storm Immunity, Storm Power, Ethereal. Energy Elemental has 
two swarm attacks and one lightning strike, a single shot one. It is resistant to shock and fire and poison, and is overcharged and ethereal, and it is flying. Magma Elemental has a flame strike. It is susceptible to cold but resistant to fire and poison. It regenerates, it has heat and fire shield. Fire. Then we have the Psychic Elemental who has life drain and mind blast. Amphibian O, poison resistant magic being, an animate, need not eat, ethereal, floating, and blind. They don't have that many hit points, but they are still ethereal and have magic resistance 16. The magic elemental is even better, it has magic resistance 18. Better stats, and they have stellar bolt instead of the mind blast, and they have damage reversal as well. Okay, and the Sacred Phoenix has Fiery Breath, it's an area of effect, attack, talents and big, they are sacred, it's in their name. Size 6, 50 hit points, strength 18, attack 13, defense 11, magic resistance 16. They have fire resistance, vulnerability to cold, magic being immortality. Heat, flying, fire shield, siege bonus, patrol bonus, fire power. They are immortal, that's why they cost so much. And we have the boulders who throw boulders. And they also explode on death. That, that's what they did in Might of Magic 8. It was so annoying, they just explode and break your equipment. They are immobile. Then we have the charger, again the sprite is ripped from Might and Magic 8, Day of the Destroyer, and they are very big, very tanky tramplers. And that's it. Uh, but we're not done yet, there's still three nations to go. See you later.